Episode 5, Swak Wictus, Axe Mounts and Out of Bounds. Traveled Play. to unknown lands, fruitlessly farmed Scarlet Monastery, and rekindled with our Banyan WoW GF. Continuing the adventure, I bricked my computer trying to install an SSD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And decided that in the spirit of fiddling with mechanical contraptions much too complex for my feeble human mind, I wanted to be an engineer. You see, I fire. wasn't having fun with mining and blacksmithing, so I ditched two of the most financially viable professions in the game in exchange for the least profitable job in Azeroth. A stark contrast to being an engineer in real life. Ignoring the impending need for money to buy a mount at 40, I viscerally followed an engineering leveling guide, knowing full well that my viewers would send me money to give me the authentic Asmongold experience. I spent a good 15 minutes making this jump, so please appreciate my position of tinkering. That's a sick no job. one in this game seemed to acknowledge my masterful movement. Anyways, That's I decided cool that the steep price for core stone on the auction house was a bit of a ripoff, and decided to go all the way to Darkshard to get them myself. After a few hours, 30 minutes of honest work, I returned to Ironforge. Before I started this gruesome endeavor, I wish someone had told me that the level cap for my professions scaled with my actual level. I had basically just wasted a bunch of time and gold to familiarize myself with the steep learning curve of this bastard 15 year old game. Whilst flying to Hills Brad Foothills, I disconnected and a bug spawned me into a guaranteed death Never by lucky, drowning dude. in a location where I couldn't possibly recover my corpse. The joke's on Blizzard though, I got to my destination faster. Together with my companions, I went back to Scarlet Monastery where we got ambushed by angsty teenagers. Unlike my friends who fought bravely, I pathetically begged for my life and bought myself some spare time by performing a sacred mating ritual. Lil Sundo the Lich graciously spared my life. When entering the dungeon, I experience the usual fuckery that I've grown all too accustomed to at this point. Our healer dies and asks me to actually taunt the mobs. I inform our healer that I don't, I don't use, use defensive defense. stance because I have too much testosterone. Our DPS claims he's doing everything and that I'm not capable of DPSing and that I shouldn't be because I'm the tank. Yet I let the numbers speak for themselves. We get to Herod and our healer dies in the extremely easily avoidable spin move. After which she tells me that I should have held aggro. Our quote unquote DPS then cowers in fear instead of attacking the boss. We wipe and start all over. Once we finally manage to take down the boss, nice. he drops these six set pants. I roll a 22 and a single tear falls down my face. We try to run the dungeon one more time, and with our inoptimal setup, we painstakingly skank our way through the whole thing. Excited, I type, now the axe drops, and I roll a 99. However, the boss good, was it? nowhere to be found, because I'm apparently incapable of properly resetting a dungeon. They forgot to reset, oh no. <laughs> apparently, leaving and re-entering isn't enough. You no. also had to click a button. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Since I'm goddamn tired of showing you me farming armory over and over again, here's my 37th run where I finally acquired the Ravager. Woo! Yeah! This is the single biggest upgrade to the stand and hit gameplay. Now this game is fucking easy. Fuck, I don't even gotta do anything. Although, for fear of copyright infringement, I recreated this music piece myself with a royalty free beat. You spin me right round, baby, right round When we go down, when we go down, down Yeah, I couldn't really find a matching beat, but you know, times are tough. Then I check my mail to find the most generous donation to our crusade thus far. Daddy Chill graciously offers up the fiery war axe, or as he calls it, his kook cleaver. My first- oh, let me get this straight. Swak Wictus farms the whirlwind axe replaces it with a Ravager after 37 attempts or something, and then right after replaces it with a Fiery War Axe. Okay, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. First purple piece of gear. Excited to test it out, I go to Strangle <laughs> Thorn. Like the, last, the last episode and a half is about getting the Ravager, and the episode and a half before that is about getting the Whirlwind Axe, and now he has a Fiery War Axe. Bale, the North Korean border of Azeroth. Home to the Gurubashi Arena, nice. a coliseum of free for all PvP, where once every three hours the arena chest spawns. It was 6 a.m. and I decided to try my luck. 
At this ungodly hour, the arena wasn't filled with dozens of people, but rather just two individuals. The survivor was a level 44 warrior, and since I could tell he was enjoying World of Warcraft, I decided to extend the game's no lifespan for him by a couple minutes, landing me the arena chest on my first try. No I'll have you know that in over a hundred hours of game time, looting this chest with PTSD from all the rogues that have previously unstealthed behind me were the most nerve-wracking five seconds yet perhaps on par with Hrothgarth's final moments. <laughs> Damn you, turtle. <laughs> I later tried again at 9 and 12 a.m., and it turns out I just got extremely lucky. It's nearly impossible to get this damn chest. Satisfied with the spoils of battle, I went to Booty Bay, where I found an AFK player. No. Going against my better judgment, I decided to ruin his day. No, I should have looked twice though, because this was no player. It was the Horde Griffin Master, who ended my measly existence in seconds. I said, fuck this, it's time to go on an adventure. I managed to get on the mountains between Stranglethorn and Darkwood by glitching up a wall. I looked into the horizon and immediately knew I had to go where no night elf had dared venture. When I saw the hard, clear-cut line in the textures, I knew that Blizzard didn't intend for us to access this area. It looks fucking cool though, exploration is definitely one of my favorite parts of MMOs. Since this is a long journey, I'll tell you a story along the way. So you know how I've consistently been getting disconnected from WoW? What if I told you that the problem wasn't the Blizzard servers, but in fact my own computer? This is fucking nuts, right? But in my motherboard there's this thing called a CMOS battery, and apparently Windows relies heavily on this battery to tell the time. After six years my CMOS battery had ran out of power, which caused my BIOS to not be able to store the time. Five to ten times a day it would set my Windows time to 11.30pm. What's funny is that my router relies on the time, so it would pop me off my internet every time that happened. I'd like to say that's why I haven't streamed in months. But truth be told, it's because I fucking hate streaming. Anyways, <laughs> I ordered a new CMOS battery online, but because I'm stupid, possibly because my parents dropped me on my head as a kid, but likely just due to my lack of education, I'd bought the wrong one. And this next part is kinda unbelievable, but genuinely true. I happened to find the correct battery lying on the ground outside of where I do physiotherapy for my scoliosis. Together with a friend, I busted no open way. my computer only to find myself in a troubling predicament. My motherboard, the Asus Maximus Formula 6, has all this armor on it and along with it a massive design flaw. To get to the CMOS, I would have to literally take my entire PC apart to then unscrew the armor from the back of the motherboard, then install the new CMOS, oh put everything gosh, back together, and possibly no. twice in case the battery I found on the ground was used. Considering that it's six years since I built this PC and I almost bricked it trying oh to install an SSD, it's safe to assume that this process would completely break my computer. My solution? I decided to use knives, scissors and pliers to directly cut into my motherboard. No, no, what are you Eventually building my frustration to the point where I no. brutally oh, ripped no, off the armor God. with my bare hands. No, what the hell are we doing? Oh yeah. my gosh! After which I put in the mysterious battery that I fucking found on the concrete outside plugged my computer back Wha in, why? and it literally fixed the entire problem with no repercussions. Moral of the story? Use power tools on your motherboards, kids. And also, I really needed some filler for the middle of this video. I don't know if you can tell. Alternatively, if you need a, a brand new PC, you can check out the link, uh, Starforge Systems. Uh, let me X which point Starforge. Uh, that is the system that I'm using. Now it's up to an RTX 4090. Uh, the link is in the chat. Check them out. Anyways, this is where I ended up. I'd gone all the way past Darkwood, Deadwind Past, and the corner of the Blasted Lands, behind Zolgarub, to finally end up at the back end of the Tainted Scar, from where I only had one path available to me. I engaged in a kerfuffle with gravity and stress-tested my bones. I was then forced into a 10-minute resurrection sickness and a 25% durability penalty on all my equipment. Mind you, in an endgame zone with one singular horde player who enforced his own all-encompassing no hearth stone philosophy. After a sudden reminder of what World of Warcraft is actually like, I returned to the intended gameplay experience. I made a dreadful choice when I decided to- I remember when I used to play a lot of RuneScape and WoW as a kid, the reason I liked them over 
other games like campaigns that a lot of my friends played and i'm not saying campaigns are bad like the halo campaign or the call of duty campaign i know people love them but what i loved about wow is i could do whatever the hell i wanted for many 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 hours i could i could go in the i could just hang out in the town and go to a basement or, or um run around the world and discover new areas and meet friends along the way and stuff like that and in other games like yeah you were kind of just forced to follow a quest line until the end and i just loved it man i i it was hard for me to play anything else when i discovered runescape and then wow because i'm like dude this is like sandboxy i can do whatever i want all day every day and uh yeah so here we are it's 2024 and i'm i'm still i'm still playing wow let's go questing in arathi highlands <laughs> we gotta kill these elite mobs Unbeknownst to my party, I'd already attempted this yesterday with different people and I had Otto's head. There's two bosses, the other being Falcon Crest. You know the drill. We corpse walk into the castle. I don't have any healing potions and I refuse to use shields. Of course, we fail miserably. But you gotta understand, we're veterans of this shit. At level 36, we're dungeon-hardened fucking animals. All of us have been through this countless times. It's a goddamn well-oiled machine. Our mage is Polymorph Otto and the regular elite mob. A spell that would keep them as helpless sheep for 45 seconds, if I not for the mage. fact that we immediately damage them breaking the spell. With our primal instincts, we execute extremely basic game mechanics and exude the very simple coordination required to beat this. That honest. is right until a party of Horde oh, players no. waddled in and clearly demonstrated that they did didn't intend to wait 10 minutes for these dudes to respawn. We wipe and begrudgingly return to the castle, then wait patiently. That is until 7 minutes later, when I realized that Falcon Crest's loot belonged to us, as one of our party members had been alive when our assailant killed him, leaving not just all 5 Horde players unable to complete the quest, but also my 4 poor comrades who'd be able to rectify the situation in 3 measly minutes. It was at this point I said, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, and continued my crusade to ruin the authentic classic experience. I decided oh I'd had my fill of the patented kill an orc in a castle gameplay and began the quest chain for all of Scarlet Monastery. Seeing as I'd farmed one wing 37 times, I might as well experience the whole dungeon. After undergoing a multitude of repetitive tasks, I headed to Desolus. Now you might recall me having a tough time in Stone Talon Peak, which is on the way to where I'm going. I made sure to rectify the situation at hand. It's oh, always yeah. exciting discovering a new place you've never been to. You never know what's gonna happen. You could see a reskin of a mob you've already killed hundreds <laughs> of times, slightly different looking NPCs with one of the dozen voices you've heard countless times. Hello. Or maybe you'll even That's see true. purple water. If you're really lucky, you'll get the pleasure of doing an escort mission. God, I love this 15 year old game. It's so bad, but so good. It's, it's good, it's really good. Questing in Desolus did have its moments. After getting ganked, I got revived by a holy saint who complimented the videos. Oh, nice. Little did he know that he was about to receive a multitude of letters containing copy-pasted homoerotic poetry. Make it happen. That's your boy taking on six <laughs> mobs at once, by the way. Twice an hour, I get to speed up the gameplay. This is sick. I also met Chargy, who stopped me from killing Horde players under the guise that we're not like them. We have honor. The stands he would uphold. You know, if you're used to playing League of Legends and you have shorter cooldowns and you're used to being able to sit on a login screen, clicking play, getting dopamine every single game, leveling up within 30 minutes from a character who's just started, you know, in, the, in a fresh game of League, you level up, you get new abilities, you get new items, you buy stuff. It's really fast. You're, you're getting uh, PvP skirmishes all the time and end game and then boom and then next, you know, next it happens again and again and again. And you've done that for years and your brain is wired for like that dopamine uh, whoops. That dopamine constantly hitting. And then you go play Classic WoW. I understand where he's coming from. It actually makes a lot of sense. Like, bro, another quest that has me kill another NPC that looks almost exactly the same and another escort and another this and another that. And it's just like the same thing. Yeah, you misspelled depression. <laughs> it's just different, right? It's a different expectation, mental expectation when you're getting constant dopamine or the slow drip, 
right? The slow trip. That's classic. Right until we ran into a horde player TikTok nearly having yeah. soloed an elite boss that he needed to kill. At which point, Chargy threw his morals out the window and did what had to be done. After killing a bunch of skeletal warriors, we each went our own way. He then got his corpse camped by that horde player until he had to log off. But honestly, that didn't seem like a me problem. You see, I was focused on the task at hand, putting the Ravager to Wait, good use. On what was that? The task at hand? See, I was focused on the task at hand, putting the Ravager to good use on a part of the game everyone else seems to be ecstatic about, a part of the game that I personally despise, Scarlet Monastery. Isn't it exciting how a dungeon spanning four instances can have the same three models for all the enemies? The most thrilling part is that one boss spins. I stand by my original statement. This game is cookie clicker, but with more world building. I'll spare you the boring details, here's what happened. I lost every roll on every item, with the exception of this useless dog whistle that summons a hound with a minuscule amount of health. As per usual, I got us all killed by pulling too many mobs in the wrong way. <coughs> Twice. We eventually beat the dungeon, and I'm sure lots of stuff happened, but let's be honest. Lord knows I'm not going fishing in these seven hours of WoW recordings that aren't even in chronological order due to the CMOS incident resulting in random timestamps. Instead, I'll cut to me and Michael Scott dancing on an orc who was involuntarily sleeping on the ground. Speaking of not in chronological order, this happened before I fixed my computer. What happened after I fixed it? I started maniacally selling all my silk cloth on the auction house after finding out I'd need 90 gold to buy a mount at level 40, which was soon. I then went and completed various quests in Stranglethorn Vale, <laughs> true to the authentic classic experience they were all very rewarding. Sorry, I pronounced that incorrectly, I meant monotonous. Even though it's something I spent 12 hours of my life on, I can't for the life of me think of a single interesting thing that happened. I could extensively reiterate how we killed some pirates, a sea giant, and hundreds of various exotic animals, but truth be told, Those I just get goosebumps quests. and flashbacks from all the horde encounters. Look at this shit, they turn me into a sheep wait for the spell to run out, and then kill me. I felt scummed out at this very moment. So before leaving Stranglethorn Vale, I decided to do something I'd been putting off for a long time, a killing an AFK oh, player. No, no. I was entirely unaware that that's what the Booty Bay Bruisers do. Whoa. But um, you live, you learn. Eventually, I Ow. would go on to kill this spider, turn off the recording software, and then reach level 40. <laughs> if you called me a sleep-deprived moron, your argument would have fair grounds to stand on. All of my hard work has led me to this point. Every drop of sweat, blood, and tears. And I've saved up 60 gold. Oh, nice. It's actually now that it dawns on me, I need 30 more. So when I came to find that Steck had sent me a mail telling me to put these up my behind, containing 25 gold and 60 tin bars, along with 7 grime encrusted objects, nice. and 10 unidentifiable clumps of organic matter, I was pleasantly surprised, to say the least. And whilst we're on the subject of mail, if you guys don't stop asking me for I'm just not gonna show your mail. I'm trying to be monetized here, alright? Anyways, with my newfound riches, I traveled back to where it all began. Darnassus. Where I graciously nice. learned to ride a tiger. I then legally purchased a tiger. And let's be honest, I'm pretty damn majestic right now. However, considering that my viewers paid for half of it, it ain't really all that impressive or fulfilling. So for the ending, here's what we'll do instead. Somewhere in this video, there's an easter egg which will lead you on a scavenger hunt. If you actually manage to make it to the end, you'll be rewarded with my secret ice cream recipe. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Is that engagement to have people click back in the video over and over to get it recommended on the algorithm to gather millions of views on the internet? No way, right? No way, right? Is it... Copy-pasted homoerotic poetry. Make it happen. That's your boy taking on satanic matter. I was pleasantly surprised, to say the least. And whilst we're on the subject... Eventually building my frustration to the point where I brutally so ripped off the video. armor with my bare hands. I'm trying to go to the most replayed moments. Where is it? Where is there actually an Easter egg?
There was a QR code. Oh, you're right. There was a QR code. I remember seeing that. Oh, here, let's just go to the comments. I'm sure it spoils it. Um, Nice Easter egg. Uh, the QR code has exceeded its monthly scam limit. <laughs> no. Wait, I don't even... This The QR code has exceeded the monthly scan limit. Yeah! After oh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Armor with my bare hands. Dude, it's it was too fast! Oh, we're getting baited so hard on the on the YouTube algorithm. Yeah. Oh. Two point two five speed. Okay. Um. Oh. Dude, I, 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 dude, I, 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 my reactions aren't slow. I swear. Yeah. Yeah! Boom! We got it. All right, pulling out my phone. That's it. Hooper, where's the damn recipe, bro? Where's the damn recipe, man? <sighs> Shall we move on, boys? That was pretty, pretty damn good.